away today. The improved package has arrived. We're having it fitted in time for FP1. Have a look at the factory. What's up, guys? Logical Gaming back with another video on the F1 2016 career mode. It's part 17, the Japanese Grand Prix. Uh, looks like we've got a new rival to deal with. Hey, looks like you've got a bit of rivalry going on out there. This is good. Get people talking about you. Just make sure you outperform them, okay? So who's our rival? Our rival is Lewis Hamilton. We also had an R&D upgrade, as you saw from the start of the video. I think it was engine power. Can't remember. But let's listen to our boys now. So we've got to qualify seventh or higher, beat Hamilton and beat Sainz. Normal sort of qualifying. Um, so you know we've just got to go out and do our best. I hope we get pole. We're in contention for the drivers' championship still. We've still got hope. I was saying right at the start of the season, this could be our year. It might not be, but it could be. We're second in the vehicle performance, so we should have a good competitive car for this race. But anyway, without further ado, let's go to qualifying for the Japanese Grand Prix. Welcome to Japan and the impressive Suzuka track for today's qualifying session, where we should be underway shortly. Here we are, starting our one and only lap. Coming up to the final chicane. Um, it looks like we're behind the car that I think we were. As we come around the final corner, DRS open wide, start the lap, down the straight into turn one. There we go, and run slightly wide, but anyway, coming now to 130R, right at the end of the lap, back into the shirt chicane. The shirt thing, the chicane. And it looks like we've caught up to Ricardo a bit as he peels off into the pits. We open the RS and it's only good enough for four. Five tenths off Rosberg. Whole second, whole half a second off Rosberg. With Reichen in second and Hamilton third. Science was tenth, which means we're not progressing very well at the moment in Toro Rosso. You know, science isn't up where we are. But anyway, let's go to the race. So here we are, sat in fourth. We'll put the normal two extra laps of fuel so we can run in rich for longer. Looks like a one stop, soft onto the hards. And that is all we really need to know for today's race. The engineer will deal with everything else. So let's now build to five red lights. And it lights out, and away we go. Bit of a slow start from us, but fairly okay. Uh, looks like Ricardo's gaining on us. Looks like he's going to try a little move down the inside, but nothing comes to fruition. Uh, we're not going to make any moves on Hamilton, Reichen, or Rosberg. But now cutting slightly further into the lap and coming up to the hairpin. Looks like we're going to try and make a little move on Hamilton. It backfired a bit, and we're going to try and make a move on Reichen, and we've hit Rosberg. We've hit a Mercedes for the third race in a row. Why? Why do we keep hitting them? We're now coming up to 130R on lap one. And it looks like we've just misjudged it and we've hit Verstappen. We've hit Verstappen. Oh, and Sainz has been collected as well. And we're going to have to pit for repairs. Great. 
this is how you want a race to go. The safety cars come out, thankfully. Well, not thankfully, but this is going to play into our benefit. Uh, so we have to repair our front wing in the pits. I think it's not going to be the best, but let's see how quickly they can get it done. Looks like it went okay. All going to plan, apart from the safety car. As we exit the pits, we are dead last. Massa came in as well, and he went onto the softs, surprisingly. But anyway, we're now going to cut to the end of lap four, start of lap five, which is when the safety car is going to come in. And we completely misjudge this, and we go straight past Harry Anto as the green flags go. So. We can't overtake Harry Anto, unfortunately. Looks like Ericsson's caught up to us from our little mistake. And we've had a bit of a poor exit, a bit of oversteer, and we should have been with Harry Anto. But instead we're just going to try and push Ericsson into the wall a bit. And that's what that happened there. We're now cutting on slightly further into the lap as we get a really sweet ups, upside. Inside move on Harry Anto and just cutting onto the end of that part you know we're a lot quicker than these guys so we can do moves like this up the inside at Spoon I think I think that's called Spoon I can't remember what the names are of the Japanese circuit but anyway we're now going to cut onto lap 10 we got promoted to second with everyone having their pit stops and it looks like we're going to try and make a move on Hamilton but Hamilton comes into the pit on lap 10 what are you doing Hamilton? I mean that's good for us because we're in the lead but he had the lead oh anyway looks like as we come up to the second well not the second last chicane the last chicane that we're going to win the Japanese Grand Prix the yellow flag ahead we don't care we're going to come across the line to win the Japanese Grand Prix get in there There we go guys, we've won again, this time it's the Japanese Grand Prix in front of Rosberg, Hamilton, Raikkonen, Verstappen, Massa comes home in 6th just beating Sainz, our teammate in 7th, Bottas, Vettel and Frojan round out the top 10, we stay 2nd in the drivers and close the gap slightly on Rosberg, uh, we've still got a mathematical chance of winning the championship but it's as good as Rosberg's at the moment. I, you know, Hamilton can't challenge for it now so it is only us and Rosberg now for the rest of the season hopefully Hamilton doesn't have too big a part to play in ruining it for his teammate I'd love for Rosberg to win it but I'd want more for us to win it uh, as it's our first season and it would be with Toro Rosso you know beating Red Bull I think we've had more wins this season than Red Bull Someone can go back and put it in the comments, I don't care. So anyway, we have now got 724 resource points and I think we should be ahead in the driver's rivalry quite easily. No? Oh, well, we didn't have a penalty free because we, had, we kept extending on 130R and Hamilton had a quick lap on us. Fair play, Hamilton, beating us again. Uh, we've got to up our game for next time then. We're, the team is still favourable to us uh, and I think we're just going to go and put an R&D upgrade on 
I think we'll put something to do with drag the streamlines, streamlining the suspension arms uh, just so that we can have that before we see the R&D for the rest of the year to gain a lot of resource points for the start of next year so that we can be right on the top of our game as you can see we're second in the drivers still and we're losing the rivalry to Hamilton and that's going to be it for today's episode guys let's see if the next race at the USA circuit of the Americas we can keep our winning streak going thanks for watching this episode guys I'll be back next time with the US Grand Prix until then Stay safe, guys.